What are the best solar inverters in Australia in 2021? Well, I can tell you which ones are the most expensive, I can tell you which ones are the cheapest, but which ones are the best? I thought the best way to answer that question would be to ask the installers that install these things every day and also are responsible for the warranties for the next 10, 12, 15 years, depending how long the warranty is on the inverter. So we asked SolarQuotes installers two questions. One, what solar inverters would you put on your house if money was no object? The idea there was to draw out what is the best inverter in Australia that money can buy? And then secondly, we asked them, what inverters would you put on your family home if money was tight and every dollar counted? And the idea there was to draw out what are the best value solar inverters. So let's find out what the results were. We asked all our installers, what are the best solar inverters money can buy that you'd put on your own house? And here are the results. Winning, but only just, by a few votes, like less than 1%, was Fronius. Fronius, it's no surprise these guys won. Australian solar installers, out of all the installers in the world, seem to absolutely love Fronius. Fronius are an Austrian engineering company. They make welders, um, and they make really, really nice solar inverters that are really well engineered. Um, and they've done a great job in the Australian market. Look, 10 years ago, they had some problems. Their IG series of inverters they were failing left, right, and center in the Australian sun. But Fronius, fair play to them. They nailed the problem, they fixed it, they replaced those cards in the inverters that were having problems, and then they generated their next generation of inverter, the Fronius Primo, and those have been rock solid in the Australian conditions. Um, one thing about the Primo that I don't like, the Fronius Primo inverters, they're bloody noisy, especially in full sun. So if you don't want a noisy inverter, if your inverter's going near your living area, maybe don't get a Fronius Primo. The Fronius Gen 24, which is their latest generation of hybrid inverter, they still have a big fan on them, but they're much, much quieter. So consider one of those or consider an inverter brand that doesn't have forced cooling with a fan. So Fronius inverters, really, really good. Best inverter money can buy in Australia in 2021, according to the installers. Next, and they only just lost the top spot, are Solar Edge. Solar Edge are an Israeli company they make inverters, um, you have a inverter that goes on your wall, but you also have optimizers on every panel. Now, the optimizers on every panel actually do the multi PowerPoint tracking for each panel. So they're optimizing the current and the voltage on each panel. And the idea there is that if your panels are mismatched or one has shading, you're getting the optimum PowerPoint, the optimum amount of power for each panel, despite that shading or that mismatch. Solar Edge are interesting in Australia. The installers seem to absolutely love them or absolutely hate them. But obviously there's enough that absolutely love them that they almost won and they got second spot in best solar inverter money can buy. So well done Solar Edge. Third is Enphase. Enphase are also interesting because they're the only micro inverter brand in Australia that I reckon are worth looking at. They make really good micro inverters. What is a micro inverter? It's a teeny weeny inverter about that big and it goes on the back of each solar panel. Lots of benefits to that. Big one is safety. You don't get a high DC voltage because the DC voltage at the panel is converted straight to 230 volts AC. So in theory, they're safer. They optimize each panel individually, a bit like Solar Edge, except they don't need the box on the wall. Um, another great thing is they're fault tolerant. So I've got 24 panels on my roof and I've got micro inverters and one of the micro inverters have failed. These are solar bridge micro inverters, which you can't get anymore. But although one out of 24 has failed, the other 23 are humming along perfectly. So I'm in no rush to fix it. So they're fault tolerant. If one fails, the rest of the system ticks along just fine. What's the disadvantage of Enphase is they're actually even more expensive than Solar Edge and Fronius. Um, you're paying something like a 20, 25% premium to have microinverters. So they are quite expensive. But those are the three best inverters in Australia that money can buy in 2021, according to our installers. Fronius wins the gong, then you got Solar Edge, then you got Enphase. Now, money's a bit tight, every dollar counts. What are the best value solar inverters in Australia in 2021? Well, winning, getting almost three times as many votes as any other inverter brand is SunGrow. SunGrow are a massive inverter manufacturer from China and they make really nice budget inverters. 
Um, they're reliable, they've got brilliant tech support in Australia, and they've got some really nice features. For example, you can use Solar Analytics, which is my personal favorite monitoring, with SunGrow without the Solar Analytics hardware. So your analytics platform can just talk to the SunGrow. So good on SunGrow for having the uh, initiative to say, you know what, we'll open up our data to a third party. So SunGrow, they're about half the price of, say, Afronius, and essentially they do the same job. Will they last quite as long? Probably not, but they're very well warranted and very well supported and perform really well. So well done, SunGrow. Best value solar inverter in Australia, 2021. Now, second place, this is a bit weird, it's Fronius again. <laughs> How does Fronius win best inverter money can buy and best value solar inverter? Well, I'll tell you why. Because Australian solar installers are in love with Fronius. A lot of them can't imagine installing anything else. It's weird, but I get it because they're beautifully engineered, solid as a rock. They're built like Sherman tanks in Austria. Australian solar installers love them, and so they should. They're really reliable. So well done, Fronius. You won gold in best inverter money can buy and silver in best value solar inverter. And then we've got a tie for third place. Got Solar Edge again. Like I said before, some installers just love Solar Edge. They can't consider, <laughs> they can't contemplate installing anything else. Uh, then we've got SMA. SMA is a German uh, inverter manufacturer. They used to be the most popular solar inverters in Australia 10 years ago. They were absolutely killing it, but then they lost market share to Fronius. Why did that happen? Because they started making them in China and the Australian installers didn't like that. Now, I think they're pulling back manufacturing from China. They've kind of changed their mind. They're starting to make most of them again in Germany. Um, but they're great inverters. SMA have been in the game forever. Um, great German company that make, you know, really solid inverters. Well done, SMA. And the third one is Goodwe. Goodwe is a budget Chinese inverter manufacturer, but they've got a really good reputation in Australia for reliability and support. And they are, you know, something like half the price of a Fronius. Um, installers like them. If you want a budget inverter, Goodwe is a great choice. So. You want the best inverters money can buy, Fronius, Solar Edge, Enphase. You want a really good budget inverter. You've got SunGrow, of course, um, by a country mile, and Goodwe, who are really the only budget inverters that won, because um, the other ones are <laughs> still fairly quite expensive. SMA is actually a premium inverter, so I'm not sure why it was on the, uh, <laughs> on the budget winners, but again, it's probably just installers. A lot of them don't like installing budget inverters. So there you have it, the best inverters in Australia in 2021.